Hi there, people. I am going to expose a person by the name of Stephen. He is a Senior Complaints and Operations Officer Delegate for the Health of Budsman. That is from Queensland, Australia. So let's go up. Let's see what he says to me. Okay. Dear Mr Garland, I am writing to you about your complaint 3rd April 2023 about Ipswich Hospital Mental Health Services, the hospital. As a delegate of the Health Ombudsman, I have carefully reviewed the information you provide, provided the Health Ombudsman Act 2013. The Act states Sorry, sets out the functions and limits of what the, the Office of the Health Ombudsman OHO can do. The Act identifies that the OHO's key focus is managing risks to public health and safety that arise from health services or health service providers in Queensland. For this reason, among other things, we look at the servity of the matter, the potential risk that it poses and whether it meets the threshold for the OHO or other agency to take action. If regulatory action is not justified, we will also consider its further assistance should it be provided in to resolve the complaint. Decision. <coughs> Pardon me. I have decided Ed, to take no further action on your complaint for the following reasons. I acknowledge your concern about the content of a discharge summary. However, I do not consider regulatory action to be appropriate. Based on the information you provided, it, it appears you were taken VIA police to the hospital in 2019 for admission. You state that you state the discharge summary refers to a false statement that you had abducted your child. I have reviewed the record you provided, it, which notes that you were brought to the hospital by QPS and makes reference to an incident of patient abducting daughter. While I acknowledge you were never found guilty of this charge, this statement appears to be written, written as contextual information rather than an accusation, and I consider it was reasonable to record this as background information. The OHO would not be able to change a medical record and I do not consider further action by the OHO would be likely to achieve any resolution to this matter. This decision was made under S44 1AII of the Act. Although your complaint will now be closed, it will be kept on record to help identif identify patterns of behaviour, complaint trends, widespread health system issues and ways to pro promote professional safe and competent practice by health practitioners. Conclusion, I appreciate the matter remains of concern to you and I acknowledge this is not the outcome you were seeking. If you believe my decision is not correct, you can contact me so I can provide more detail as to how I reached my decision and answer, answer any questions, sorry, queries you may have. So... <clears throat> Palming. 
So the patient abducting daughter, I did a video of that and I'll be posting that in the description of this video so people can see and view. And so now the delegate from the Queensland Health Ombudsman is covering up serious misconduct and corrupt conduct. And um, the way this person by the name of Stephen conducted himself is totally not appropriate. <coughs> Pardon me. The person by the name of Stephen says, rather than an accusation, and I consider it was reasonable to record it this as background information. I mean, I'm pretty sure he would not he would not want that information on his medical file if he never abducted his child. It's not appropriate for a health professional to lie and accuse someone like me of child abduction. Child abduction is a crime, so I've been accused of a crime. My next door neighbour lied to police and implied to police that I was not I was on the non contact list from my child's daycare and um I actually was on the contact list from my child's daycare and I went and picked up my daughter. So this mean next door neighbour lied to try and get me charged for child abduction. So, so, I mean, this is what Queenslanders have to put up with, a corrupted organisation such as the Queensland Health Ombudsman, not taking action on legitimate complaints, serious complaints, it makes me sick to my tummy to see a senior complaints and operations officer, delegate for the health ombudsman, a person by the name of Stephen, covering up serious misconduct, serious corrupt conduct. If I knew that I could sue for defamation in 2019, I would have sued Ipswich Mental Health Hospital for defamation back in 2019. Healthcare workers cannot record defamatory statements about anyone and it's not protocol for a, for a health worker to lie about a person on a medical file. <coughs> I was illegally forced into Ipswich Mental Health Hospital due to the fabricated lies, the defamatory lies that the health professional lied about me, saying patient abducting daughter. That's an accusation that is false. I'm done.